Hi, this video is a beginner's guide to Path of Water. First thing first, we need to set our two marches. When choosing your aircraft, make sure to use the correct setting for solo attack. This is the first setting for the Gen 1 plane, Gen 3 plane, and the helicopter. It is the second setting for the carrier. Make sure to select both your monkey and your dinosaur, and that they are equipped in both marches, along with any vehicles that you have unlocked. The next thing I will explain is the different roles you can choose to assist you in your Path of Water matches. The first role is Defender. This role allows you to restore 100% of your troops upon winning the next battle you enter. This role needs to be activated prior to the battle for it to be effective. Meanwhile, for the 30 seconds after it is activated, if you lose the battle, it will reduce the time for your march to respawn to one second. I personally use this role often. I have a good idea who I can beat and who can definitely beat me. If I know that I can beat most of the other team, I'll choose Defender. If I get matched with whales, I will choose the support role. The next role is Vanguard. This role increases march speed 100% for 30 seconds, during which all battles are finished instantly. This role is for the extremely strong players or whales as the average player will kill themselves instantly if they attack someone who is even just slightly stronger than them. The next role is Medic. This role allows you to activate it and restore 60% troop power for all friendly marches that are not actively in battle in a territory and its adjacent and connected territories and its adjacent roads. The next role is support. This role is predominantly used to bomb much stronger players without having to fight them. You have four chances to use it during each match with a cooldown period in between each use. The last role is Scout. This role allows you to port to any spot other than the place you respawn at. The tiers that give you the tickets to use in the Path of Water store are Stone, Iron, Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum and Diamond. There are multiple sub-levels included in each tier before you can move up to the next one. These are the ranking rewards that you can receive depending on how well you do at the end of the event. Then I am also showing the current Path of Water store, where you redeem your tickets. When playing Path of Water, please remember that your team only needs to maintain control of three fortresses to win. Stick to three fortresses and reinforce them. Never leave a building empty just because a buff showed up and never run from a fight. Even if you know that you will lose, you are buying time for your team to earn points while your team still has control of the building. The basic rules for Path of Water are that you must be at least HQ7 in order to participate. Each chief enters the event with two marches and the levels of troops are determined by the chief's progress. Various temporary bonuses may appear on the battlefield as a counterbalance. Players form teams of five and play against an enemy team. Each match lasts 10 minutes. 
The first tee to reach the specified number of points 1,400 or the team with more points when the match ends wins. When a certain period of time has passed in each match, the final sprint begins, doubling the number of points provided by the fortresses. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos explaining events or game information. If you have any ideas of what I should make a video about, please feel free to comment down below. Good luck in your path of water adventures. May the odds be ever in your favor.